Hello there, I'm Reverend Dr Hayley Matthews, Director of Lay Training for the Diocese of Leeds and Friend of All Hallows. I love the chap in today's Gospel. He says, I do not know whether he's a sinner. One thing I do know is that though I was blind, now I see. It reminds me so much of the 19 years I spent in Blackpool in an extremely challenging, deprived parish. Members of our congregation would often find themselves back on their estate or up in the tower blocks, having the mick taken out of their faith. Go on then, people would say, how exactly did Jesus rise from the dead? In peals of laughter. These and other awkward questions were met with just such a response. No idea, mate. But what I do know is that Jesus has completely changed my life, followed by the evidence, usually just standing there right there in front of them. Truth be told, the evidence was always far more compelling than a theological argument about doctrine or supernatural miracles. Just like the person in the passage from Jeremiah, the believer is not to be put to shame for following Christ, whatever others may do or say. Two of my favourite lines from that passage are often spoken before we take Holy Communion. Heal me, Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. There is no sense of needing to know something, prove something, or even earn anything here. It is completely irrelevant whether or not we come from a deserving or an undeserving family. Who sin, Lord, him or his parents? There is just a simple acceptance that whomever we are, whatever we have or have not done, all that we have need of, all that is necessary for our health and our salvation can be found in Jesus Christ and is there for the taking. The writer makes it clear that whether or not they receive their healing, their cleansing, their release from guilt and shame is not predicated upon their faith or the faith of others or our own theological prowess. It is entirely God's action and God's gift in our lives and in our hearts. It's about us being willing to accept the gifts on offer to us, should we humble ourselves to know our need of them. I know that I shall always have need of them. How about you? So let us quiet ourselves and sit before God, allowing the Holy Spirit to show us our need of God, particularly where we have hidden it even from ourselves. Let us acknowledge those things that we cling to in order to somehow deserve God's love and grace and be brave enough to let those go too. Let us pray that we may all open ourselves up to God's healing grace and salvation, knowing that we are all truly and fully freed from shame, wherever we have come from and whatever we have done, however hidden they are, or respectable things may seem on the surface. And let those of us who feel ashamed of our background or our past release that shame into God's healing hands and loving care. Let's allow ourselves to feel fully aware that we are now a part of God's family, beloved, treasured, healed and forgiven.